So today I can proudly announce that my DCA bot backtesting script is now publicly available on TradingView. Now with this script, you can backtest any customized free commerce DCA configurations and instantly see how it would have performed in the past. There are also some popular presets from the community available, so you don't have to come up with your own settings. Now to get access to the script, you just need to be a patron on my Patreon page. The link will be in the description below. Let's have an overview of all the features that are available on the script. For the first time that you add the script to your favorites, you can do it over your indicators, then just search for, search for it. If I overlay it on the chart, you can instantly see that there's a preset chosen, standard TA preset from a very popular other YouTuber called Trade Alts. So thank you for the inspiration of the presets. So you can instantly see that on the right table, we have some backtesting results. We have the dates, total days, the starting condition, then an overview of the settings again, and a summary of our strategy backtest. So we have the initial capital, the final capital, net result, how many deals in total were closed, and how much that would be on average on a daily profit. Now you can either choose to test your customized settings, or you can switch between all of the presets that are available. Now whenever you switch a preset, there's one thing that you need to change, which is the initial capital on the properties. Because whenever we change a preset, there are slightly different settings used, and therefore the bots need sl a slightly different amount of money. Now, if you have more than that money available, backtest will be wrong because it won't use all of your money. To, to get the most accurate backtesting results, you should always set the same amount that the bot requires as an initial capital. In this case, when I switch to the Urmalite V3, it tells me the bot needs $248.53. So on the properties and initial capital, you can just change this. And if we save, you can see it's loading up here. Sometimes it can take a while, depending on how many days you're backtesting. And on the inputs, whenever you choose a preset, all of the DCA settings are locked. So whenever you change any of them, you can see even though it's, it, will, it is loading, it doesn't affect any of those settings because the preset was chosen. It's the same for the take profit. So whenever you choose a DCA preset, take profit will always be locked and it will always use the ADR as your take profit. Now, if you want to use customized settings, all the other settings are not locked. So for example, if you want to test out how it would have performed if you didn't go long, but if in case you did go short, and you can also, let's say, change the time frame. We're going to change it to 2022. And let's say just uh, the 1st of January to make it easier. And then you can instantly see how this preset performed if you switched to short instead of long. If you always want to backtest the entire history that's available, I just recommend putting in 1999 and then the 1st of January because there's no crypto that has been available before that date. Um, also, to get the most historical data available, you should always make sure what exchange you're choosing. For example, if I choose BTC against the US dollar on Bitstamp, you can see that there are a total of 4,051 days available. However, let's say I switch to BTC Tether on Binance, then you can see there are only 1,860 days available. So if you want to get the most accurate results and the longest history, Make sure that you always choose the correct exchange. After a while, for each crypto, you will figure out which exchange is the best one. Typically for Bitcoin and Ethereum, I use Bitstamp. And for most of the others, uh, Binance is perfectly fine. Now, there's also some other additions that you can make. So under the style settings, you can decide if you want to plot the average price as well as the take profit. So typically, all backtests just look like this which make it really hard to like follow how the trade is playing out. So what I've added is that you can plot the average price as well as the take profit. So you can just see a history of your trade and how it developed over time. I think this is a very great uh, addition so you can easier understand and learn how DCA bots work. Look at an example right here. You can always see when a trade is closed, all the pink arrows, 
And because we have the deal starting condition to always start a trade as soon as possible, instantly on the next candle, there will always be the base order executed, which means there is a new trade opened. And you can see with the yellow line, which is at $65,261.69, this means that at this price, we bought Bitcoin. Now you can see if we go farther to the right and there is a drop and another safety order is filled, that this average price as well as the take profit are going down. So this makes it very easy to just track on the backtest how the trades performed. Obviously the backtesting results will never be 100% perfect and never replicate the exact reality because on the backtest it's simply not possible to look at each second of uh, trading data, but you just always look at the close of a candle or intraday movement after an order was filled. So it's never 100% perfect, but it's a very good approximation of what will happen in the future. And in fact, with the average price and the take profit, it's very, very easy for beginners to test out any settings in any market conditions to instantly see how the DCA bot would behave. So again, if you want access to the script, a link will be down in the description below. Make sure that you read through the description to fully understand how you can use it. If you have any questions or any features that you want to have added, let me know in the comments down below.